Good morning to all of you a blessed Easter. Once again, I find myself in the sanctuary preparing for Mass. And this is the most important day of the church year, Easter Sunday. But once again, there's nobody here. No one can be here. We want you to be safe, and also we want others to be safe that are around you. But it does not mean we're not united. We are united in faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We are united in prayer wherever we may be. So simply today I'd like to share the Gospel reading and a few thoughts. The Gospel is that of Easter Sunday, Gospel of John, John 20, 1 to 9, if you want to look it up later. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. Saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first. He saw, and he believed. But they did not yet understand the scripture, that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. As reflected on this Gospel in this Easter Sunday, a few thoughts stood on my mind. The first, that of Peter and the other disciple Jesus loved. Most people believe, by the way, it was John, and it's John's Gospel. He was the first in John's Gospel to believe. Others would eventually believe. Just as in the world today, some believe and others still are challenged. We pray for faith for all in Christ Jesus. But it's the first line that stands out for me this year. Since the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to two while still dark. Two beautiful images. First, the first day of the week, why we worship on Sundays. But it may have a different meaning. It was the first day of a new age. The Son of God died on the cross for our sins and rose from the dead. A new age has dawned, a first day of a new beginning. And the Gospel continues, so when it's still dark, but early in the morning, which means there will be a dawn. Life will get better. Darkness has a lot of meanings in Scripture, from sin, despair, death, hopelessness, but reminded there will be a dawn. We are people of faith and hope of Jesus Christ. Along with that, just the thought about the first day of the week. Think about it, how life has changed for us. Think back two months ago, what were your plans for Easter? Family and friends together? Going on a trip? Spring break? Planning for First Communion, Confirmation, Graduations, Summer Vacations, it's all changed, hasn't it? It forces us to go back to the beginning. What is it we hold, the most sacred things in our lives? What is it? And as I watch the news every day, it is the sacredness of human life. Think of all those who are placing their lives on the line for us, that we might be saved. I think all those in the healthcare profession, pray for them. They may be safe, some don't even have the right equipment, but they care. Human life is sacred. I think of all those that are on the front line of this pandemic. I think of the firemen of the police department. I think of all those that are in essential businesses that are kept open for us, from pharmacies, Grocery stores, people bring themselves on the line. Why? Because life is sacred. 
so sacred that God gave his only begotten son that we might be saved. Let's pray for those that are on the front line and know that God will truly watch over them. But the second part is still dark. Darkness has a lot of meanings. Darkness can be sin, despair, or hopelessness, but it also talks about a dawn, a new beginning. We are people of faith and hope in Jesus Christ. So my prayer today simply is that you remain safe and that God will bless and watch over you. And I conclude with a prayer that I shared with you and sent to you. Hope by now you got it in the mail. Almighty, eternal God, our refuge in every danger, to whom we turn in our distress in faith and pray. Look of compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to the mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A blessed Easter to all.